Hey guys, it's me Tom Blocks here back at you guys with another comic book unboxing video and today we are doing a bit of a shorter video today. I don't know if it is going to be short or not. Maybe. And today we've got the new book that came out, well fairly new, it came out on the 24th or 21st. When did it come out? It came out on the 28th. It came out recently, how about that? So this is Keen Spawn Volume 2. I already have book one in my collection. This is collecting the next six, six <laughs> collecting the next six issues of the series of Keen Spawn, written by Sean Lewis and also some work by Tom McFarlane. Without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Ooh, that looks good. Very clean. Cleans itself. <laughs> That actually had my lightsaber collection. From my early days of YouTube, I did lightsaber stuff and Star Wars stuff. I don't know if I'll be doing that in the future. Maybe I will. Depends. This is pretty epic. I'm in love with this cover. This is awesome. I would really want to draw this too sometime. I would really just like want to see everything that's going on in this book. Because I have because I've only read like the first six issues, and this yeah, the collect this collects the other six issues in the series and there are more to come apparently so this honestly just looks really amazing i'm in love with this cover so much it has uh as you can see it has uh, al simmons aka spawn on the front it's been a while since i've done a video about spawn when was the last time i did a video about spawn one eternity later is when i did my christmas comic book haul where i had the spawn compendium volume 4 unboxing the two final books of the sandman saga and then there was the jsa omnibus volume 2 um anyways you've got his crown on top again with the theme kane spawn you've got um more of the art on the back of the first one we just see him like brooding like just brooding with his cloak floating everywhere and around him and in this one he's look he looks like he's ready to fight now let's read the back heavy is the crown after several public attacks and a bloody battle with child killer billy kincaid the, the court of priests plans to become a parent. They wish Spawn to sit upon the throne of hell. They seek to serve him as he leads the world into a new apocalypse. They have seen the prophecy in which his rule brings forth the downfall of humanity. How much battery is left on my camera? Okay, so we're still good. Unbeknownst to all of them, they are being watched by the Oracle, Seer of Gaia, the great ruler of Green World. She too knows the prophecy and Al Simmons' role in the future of mankind. Therefore, a champion of Green World has been selected and will stand to oppose Spawn. If the need should arise, King Spawn continues to, for to roar forward and expand the lore of the Spawn universe. King Spawn Volume 2 collects issues numbers 7 through 12. That is pretty awesome. And it's rated teen, uh, as you can see right here right there man that honestly sounds pretty epic apparently i am way too far ahead in the spawn series and way ahead to know that wanda eventually dies at some point i should do a review of my of all this uh, of spawn compendium 4 because i already did a review of all the spawn compendiums one through three and until they finish the until they finish the main series of spawn and release compendiums of all of that i'm going to be ending up doing a full in-depth review of all of those compendiums and all the stories of Spawn. There's one book, one book that I've been trying to collect for God knows how long, and that is Spawn the Dark Ages Complete Collection. That book has basically been impossible for me to find because it's so expensive. I could find it on like eBay and Amazon, but it's so bloody expensive. And that's on my list of like rare books I want to collect or like comic books I want to read and collect because... That honestly sounds like an amazing book, but I really do want to read the story because I really want to learn more about the Spawn universe. I already got, like, Curse of Spawn. I wanted to do a review of that. Back to the review. <laughs> I went off on a tangent. Yeah, this honestly looks really amazing. Um, Let's look at the art on the inside. I'm actually... Okay. First thing I see when I, see, when I open the inside is this. That is awesome. That honestly makes me excited for this book besides the fact of like guy who we met in like uh book three i think of the spawn compendiums uh i'll have to check future me please check we don't meet her in any of the compendiums we actually meet her in the curse of the spawn book which is pretty epic and curse of the spawn issue number 20. my airpod fell to the ground <laughs> 
working. Okay, so we're back. And um, it's the same art style as like the uh, first six issues, which I really like because I love that style of art. I love Spawn art just in general. It really looks amazing. Like it looks so in depth and very detailed and dark and gritty. And that's exactly what I expect out of Spawn. Even Tom McFarlane's early art and like when he was first doing Spawn with like uh, and also with uh, Greg Capullo. It still had a dark vibe. And as you get into, like, Compendium 4, then it starts getting into, like, that sort... This sort of art style. And I love that. It's, like, a painted sort of medieval thing. And it's very uh, dark and gritty. I love that. We even get to see that in Medieval Spawn and Witchblade. That is a pretty epic series. And I love that so much. Okay, so we see this kid who we ended up meeting in the uh, the first book. I have no idea who this kid is or what importance he has to the story. I know he was one of the children in, like, the ended up serial instead of Psalms 100 and something. That is in a state of limbo of sorts. And I don't know what's going to happen to him, but I'm intrigued to see what will happen to him or what importance he has to the story. Because um, I remember, like, the Earth, the Mother Universe, essentially, who we meet in Book 4, in Compendium 4 of Spawn, talks to Spawn and says that, um, that this child may have some importance. And that honestly scares me that that that's cool i i don't i don't know what's happening right now i'm 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 stammering i'm i'm on a three-day weekend it's easter weekend and i'm hopefully and i'm hoping to get this video up by sunday and if not probably by saturday night which is all right for fighting it's currently a really good time for comic books because next week i'm probably gonna do a unboxing of age of ultron this video has just gone from me unboxing spawn to going into a tangent of like my, the future of my videos and what I have been doing or what I did do for, for, for past videos. This video is about King Spawn, but it's not just about that. New books are coming. By the time you're watching this video, I will probably have already bought a new book. And that book is going to be Avengers Age of Ultron. And that is a graphic novel that the movie's based on. And I'm really excited to read that because I love Brian Michael Bendis' work. Because whenever I do, like, a book or series, I want to collect, like, the full series. Unless they're coming out, like, in parts, then I'll collect them as, like, single volumes. Uh, I don't really collect single issues because I don't want them to fall apart very easily. Just saying. I already finished my Spider-Man, uh... My, my Spider-Man graphic novel, my Tom McFarlane and David McLean omnibus, and I'm real, and that was a really amazing story. And there's going to be a review on that sometime at some point in time. Now, content is going to be coming soon, and it's not going to be coming out as an everyday thing. It's still going to come out as a weekly thing every Sunday or Saturday. So, initial reaction. <laughs> like I went way off topic so many times, and I really should have planned this video, but um, yeah, this this honestly looks amazing. I really want to draw this cover because this looks amazing so initial re initial reaction 10 out of 10 art 11 out of 10 as always this the art is amazing and um story still loving it so i can't wait to see what they'll do next in the future so thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys and the true believers in the next video bye bye sounds very depressed bye 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 <laughs>